In this video, we will solve two inequality problems. This will be the first problem, and the second problem will be this. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is split this into two equations. So we will have 3x minus 5 is less than or equal to 15. And we will have another one. 3x minus 5 is greater than or equal to negative 15. The opposite, opposite. So now we will you know, add 5 here, add 5 here. And so we would get that 3x is less than or equal to uh, 20. So we could say now divide by 3, divide by 3. x is less than or equal to 20 over 3. So this is one answer. Next, we will do this one. So 3x is greater than or equal to uh, negative 10 because negative 15 plus 5 is negative 10. Then divide by 3, divide by 3. x is greater than or equal to negative 10 over 3. Now we will make a number line. So this right here would be negative 10 over 3. And this right here would be 20 over 3. We'll do a, a dotted line and a dotted line. So x is greater than negative 10 over 3. That means the arrow is going this way. Likewise, x is less than 20 over 3. So the arrow would go this way. And now, if you notice, this is going this way and this is going this way. So the answer would be when we combine the two. So a nice straight line from here to here. That means the answer could be anywhere, any point between negative 10 over 3 to 20 over 3. Like 0 would be an answer. If I plug in 0, I would get 0 minus 5, absolute value. So, so 5 is less than or equal to 15, which is correct. And now we will do the second problem. So same idea, so 3x minus 5 is greater than or equal to 15, and 3x minus 5 is less than or equal to negative 15, plus 5 plus 5, 3x is greater than or equal to 20, x is greater than or equal to 20 over 3. Now this one, so 3x is going to be uh, less than or equal to negative 10. X is less than or equal to negative 10 over 3. And now we will do a number line. So one would be negative 10 over 3. The other 20 over 3. Uh, a dotted line. A dotted. And so X is greater than 20 over 3. That means the error goes this way and x is less than negative 10 over 3. So the arrow would go this way. So in this answer, the answer could be anywhere here or anywhere here, but the answer cannot be here. So as an example, um, x could be 100. I plug in 100, I get 300 minus 5, so I get 295, which is greater than 15. And that's all you need to do for these problems.